Welcome back everyone, this is John Hines. I want to run you through a system I used while I was a principal to get a big picture view of my campus down to some really fine details, all in one system. And I released this video now because you'll have some time to start pulling the things I'm gonna talk about and delegating those uh, tasks so that when you're on contract by yourself, everybody's gone home for the summer, you can start digesting information. So here's my system. Every year around this time, and it's sometime in April, I would have one of those white plastic tables, those portable plastic tables set up in my office or in some in my conference room somewhere. And I would s slowly start stacking data on that table. On that table, I would have stacks that would just build on, on each other. And by the time everyone left for break, summer break, my table was full. Sometimes it's on the floor because I knew I was going to have time in the summer when the students were gone and the teachers were gone. And I hate that time, number one, because you're in a big empty building by yourself when you're used to being with kids and interacting with your staff. So I hated it. So I tried over years, I learned that this is what could keep me busy. And here's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about Every ARD IEP meeting that we had, I wanted a copy of it. Uh, I'm talking everyone, so that stack inches tall. I'll explain in a little. Student attendance, and I wanted that as detailed as possible, like by quarter or by grading period or whatever, by grade level. And again, on all of the reports I could get, I wanted it as detailed as possible. I didn't want people to make stuff up, but I wanted, if a report could come to me detailed, I wanted detailed. Faculty attendance, wanted to know that. Our district always did a five-year report that they could send us, because so I just wanted to know patterns. Um, grades. By grading period, any benchmark, common assessment, routine. I wanted all of that data. Of course, I wanted state assessment data, tell pass at the elementary level. If you ever did running records or Faunus and Pinnell, I wanted all of it. And what I did is I had each teacher give me their stack of documentation and then I would divvy that up depending on the class list for the next year. Discipline by disciplinary codes, library circulation, of course all budget I wanted to know. I wanted to review all of the budget budgets because there, there were more than one especially if you're at a title campus. I wanted to know how we were spending the money any donations, anything with UIL is important. And then I wanted to know, I wanted lists. Okay, so who at this point qualifies for 504 or for SPED? Which students have been retained before? Any ELL students, RTI, any GT kid? any student in specific UIL events. And let me, let me just stop and explain one of those. Let's say retained kids. So if I have that list of retained kids, kids who have previously been retained, I have that list. I can then, when I'm looking through data, if I see a student who's failing and he's on the retained list, that's a red flag to me, that we've missed something. Because a student who's been retained shouldn't be on the failure list. 
because they've had an extra year of growth. So I want to know what's going on. I would usually have a legal notepad with me all summer and the things that make me go, hmm, I would write down. Patterns, I'd write it down. Conversations I need to have, I'd write it down. And so that way you're, you're taking that whole table of data and you're, you're boiling it down to key themes. You're boiling it down to patterns. You're boiling it down to mistakes we've made. Like if you go through that, all of that ARD paperwork, you're gonna start finding things that we're doing really well and things we've gotta fix. And so you write those down. And I tell you all of this now because you're going to have to start delegating and telling your data processor, here's what kind of list I need from you. I need you to print grades. I need you to whatever. You tell your 504 coordinator, okay, on this date, I want a list of all of our kids where they are with 504 so that everyone can start preparing for giving you the data you need to get an understanding you need of your campus. Any programs you have on your campus, are you a bilingual campus? Do you have UIL on your campus? Are you accelerating anyone on your campus? All of that, if you can get just reports that either the district runs, your campus runs, your coordinators keep up with, just have them make a copy. I, again, I didn't want to put extra work on people, but I wanted all the information. So if you have not done this process before, give it a shot. I'm going to put a list down in the description of all the things I think you might want to consider. And then if, if you can delegate that out to someone, tell them what you want, tell them you want it as detailed as possible, buy when, and then this summer, check it out, try this process out. I'd be interested to know how it benefited you and your comprehension of all of your programs and the decisions you've been making and what systems you see need to be put in place, tweaked, or completely changed. Please give me the feedback when you find that feedback. Thank you.